We began our backpacking adventure driving eight hours to a remote corner of northeastern Oregon. Our destination, the Eagle Cap Wilderness in the Wallawa Mountains. Our crew consisted of Steve, my lovely husband, his friend Dave, an expert on rambling and scrambling, and Sandra, my BFF and hiking cohort. We camped at Two Pan Trailhead and set off early the next morning following the east fork of the Lowstein River. The trail started in a forested river valley and then climbed to a long, beautiful meadow crowned by magnificent eagle cap. Along the way, we stopped at a peculiar tarn and speculated on its creation. It seemed odd, perfectly oval, deep, and no inflowing stream. After arriving at Mirror Lake, we set up our base camp and took off for Pocket Lake. We started on the Glacier Pass Trail, but soon turned off of it shortly after the stream crossing. Rounding a basin, traversing more benches, we found ourselves between gravelly cliff bands on point 9020's northeast flank. With fading sunlight and clouds moving in, we turned around and headed back to camp, settling for a mere glimpse of Pocket Lake. Right around dinner time, Faye Pullen, the high priestess of Washington mountain climbing and last of our crew, finally pulled into camp. The next morning, we took the trail to the summit of Eagle Cap. After leaving the lake's basin, views opened up to reveal the beautiful Lowstein Valley with its lovely meadows, river, and tarns. Higher up, we got some wonderful views of Eagle Creek and Hidden Lake and could see some snow remnants and tarns below Eagle Cap's base. Finally, on the summit, we got expansive 360 degree views of the entire Wallawa Range and beyond. Glacier Lake, with its bright cyan color, popped out of the neutral toned talus. The vista was grand and exciting. We didn't want to leave. Spying a faint scramble route off of Eagle Cap, we headed for Eagle Cap's southeast saddle towards Glacier Peak. Dropping below the shoulder of Glacier Peak, Dave, Sandra, Steve, and I headed to Prospect Lake while Faye climbed up to tag Glacier Peak. Attaining the shoulder between Glacier and Prospect Lakes, Steve, overwhelmed by a burning desire to tag a peak, ran off to join Faye, while Dave, Sandra, and I scrambled down to Prospect Lake. Despite wanting to explore Prospect Lake's isolated shore, we settled in to relax and have a refreshing dip in the lake. It was peaceful and beautiful. Our group reconvened back on the shoulder between Glacier and Prospect Lakes, and together we hiked along Glacier's beautiful shore towards Glacier Pass. Glacier Lake is exquisitely beautiful with its tiny islands and clear aquamarine water. From the pass, Faye scrambled the ridgeline to point 9020, while the rest of us returned to camp at Mare Lake. The next day was our Eagle Cap Lakes Basin Tour de Force. We started on the Hurricane Creek Trail from Mirror Lake and turned off of it heading to Douglas Lake. The trail wandered through forest, breaking every now and then for a lovely tarn or meadow. Our turnoff was an abandoned trail that wound its way up the lower Raz Lake outlet. When we arrived, we had the gorgeous Alpine Lake to ourselves. It had a nice big sloping slab of granite next to the lake, and it gave us the opportunity to stretch our backs and take a load off our feet. Rounding Lower Raz Lake, the boot path faded, but we easily scrambled to Upper Raz Lake. Magnificent cliffs circled a jewel-like lake, and granite boulders dotted sweet meadows. We were blissed out on beauty, but not for long. Soon we were scoping out a route to the ridge above the lake for a view of Matterhorn. We scrambled from a granite ramp onto a gully of decomposing granite. After a steep climb, Faye inexplicably kept going to bag Matterhorn. The rest of us were content to enjoy fantastic views of it and ice lakes below us. Across the valley, we could see Pocket Lake tucked in its granite cirque and considered possible routes to it. 
Returning to Upper Raz Lake, Sandra suddenly injured herself, and I got to practice some wilderness first aid. We wrapped up our fabulous lakes tour with a pass of Sweet Horseshoe Lake and another pass of Moccasin Lake. The next day, we took it easy and scrambled the high peak behind our camp. We lounged for a couple hours up there, talking, taking pictures, and reviewing Faye's incredible route off the Matterhorn. After a couple hours, we sauntered back to camp, packed up our gear, and began our hike out. Not quite wanting our trip to end, we decided to camp one last night in the Lowstein Valley. All of us felt full on the drive home. Eagle Cap's beauty was transformative and had us spellbound. Every turn presented more and more wonder, leaving us happy and planning a return visit. <laughs>